Welcome back to the Road Show. This morning in the buzz brought to you by the Comedy Connection. Mick Jagger is on tour along with the Rolling Stones, but he took a little break on Wednesday, spotted hanging out in the outdoor area of the Thirsty Beaver Saloon in Charlotte, North Carolina, just enjoying a bottle of beer <laughs> by himself. It was very casual. People didn't even seem to realize it was him. So it got us to chatting about who we'd want to run into, grab a beer uh -huh. with, grab a drink with. Right. I mean, Mick Jagger would be pretty Mick, cool. <laughs> Mick Jagger would be at the top of the list. And if you get a chance to, to look at the picture of Mick, he's standing there by himself with a beer in his hand with this look on his face like, I don't think even he can believe that there's people around him who have no idea it's him. And if I was reading on it, the people who are around him we're gonna go see a show. Oh my God! And they, didn't even, and they didn't even realize it was so him. So we were finding it hard to believe that he right. really wouldn't be. No, I yes. mean he's pretty. He has pretty strong features, right. as we were talking about. Yes. I, I'm just, I'm just yes. surprised. And and I was saying with B Brendan this morning when we did our Facebook Live, I would think that that. Paul McCartney and mm. Mick Jagger would be at the top higher echelon. Yeah. Uh, first, I'd love to sit down and have a beer with both of them, but as far as rock and roll goes, those two would be it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Th that would I, be it. Yeah, and they seem like they'd be cool. So I, I don't even know, you know I would love to run into any celebrity. Sure. Right. I'm that type of person. Right. I enjoy them yes. all right. and would be excited about any of them, but mainly I would want to run into somebody cool that would like, be all right with you kind of going up and being like, hey, yes. like this right. is really cool to meet you right, right, and like right. whatever. So, yes. I, you know, I don't, I'm not sure who that person would be, no, but we'll Brendan, be, we'll be, I don't we'll think them. we even really need to ask yes. you, but we will <laughs> out of a common courtesy, who would you want to have a beer with? Well, when I think courtesy, I think Ashley Erling, of course. But I would say Lars Ulrich from Metallica would be so great for me to talk to. Or Bruce Springsteen, I'd love to chat with him. But enough about me. Judy from Roger Williams Park Zoo. Other than me, who would you like to have a beer with and run into randomly as a celebrity? Uh, Rob Gronkowski. Oh, oh Gronk, good. that's a good yeah. one, you guys. Gronk would be a lot well, of fun, right? Well, keep your eyes open By the way, how to Judy and I look? The, 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 the Very good. Judy looks fantastic. Lovely couple. Yeah. Absolutely. Looking great. Yeah. So uh, that that's a good one. Maybe she'll have an opportunity. Yeah, I mean that the, one actually could happen. That one actually happen. You know. So so quickly, I spoke with Mick Jagger <gasps> back in 1990. I was young, I was nervous, I was naive. You blew it. I got on the it was it was exactly. <laughs> I got on the phone with him. I started talking to him. I was 2 3 minutes into the interview. I think he'd had enough of me <laughs> and hung up the phone. That was my interaction with Mick Jagger. Hey, but you had it. I had it. I saved the the tape. I have it someplace. I never went back to listen to it again because I was so like just freaked out about but the But you thing. know it happened, but I know and it that's happened. what it counts. Was there. Right. All right, right, let's check in with what our viewers had to say on this topic today. Dennis Weiner says, I would like to meet and hang out with Lindsey Buckingham, a great guitarist. Mm -hmm. Once at Disney World many years ago, my wife and I got to see Richard Nixon and family enjoying the park and shaking hands with well-wishers in 1982. Wow. Uh, Linda King, I'd like to dance with Bruno Mars. Look, Bruno's got some good moves, and maybe you do too, Linda. James says, some years back, John Malkovich would come in and have a couple beers at the restaurant I worked at in Logan Airport. He always kept to himself. Very nice. Tina Marie, Enrique Iglesias, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'll probably get his autograph through a restraining order. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good. That's actually funny, Tina. Uh, thanks for chiming in, everybody. Keep those comments coming, and they might be shown right here on the show. That's right. Leave your comments to our Buzz Topic.